Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 18th of October 1867, the territory of Alaska was formally transferred from Russia to the United States. Alaska had been claimed by Russia in 1741, but with the only viable industry at the time being the fur trade, the region's few colonists struggled to survive and relied heavily on supplies from natives and the neighbouring British. In the aftermath of the American Revolutionary War, an increasing number of American explorers began venturing into the territory, while defeat in the Crimean War in 1856 left the Russian government fearful that Britain might seek to take control of the colony, since Russia was unable to defend it due to towering war debts. In response, Tsar Alexander II decided to try to sell Alaska. Baron Edouard de Stockel, the Russian minister to the United States, approached the American Secretary of State William H. Seward in March 1867, and in less than three weeks, the two men had agreed a draft treaty. The United States agreed to pay $7.2 million for the more than 600,000 square mile territory, which worked out at roughly two cents per acre. The bill was approved on the 9th of April by 37 votes to two, without consulting the native tribes of Alaska. Six months later, on the 18th of October, General Lovell H. Rousseau arrived in the Alaskan port of Sitka, where he oversaw the formal transfer of the territory. Both Russian and American soldiers were present at the ceremony outside the governor's house at Castle Hill, where the Russian flag was lowered and was replaced by the stars and stripes of the United States. Although ridiculed shortly afterwards as Seward's folly, the Alaska Purchase has since been reinterpreted as one of President Andrew Johnson's greatest achievements. Thank you.